the first time in years, violence is down in South Florida during spring break. A harsh crackdown campaign imposed by the Miami Beach government seems to be working so far. An unprecedented law enforcement presence, a midnight curfew, early beach closings, sobriety checkpoints, closed parking lots, and others charging up to $100 per car have deterred many from joining the Miami Beach scene. Police say arrests are down. I'm actually happy that they have the restrictions, but I think that maybe it was a little bit more than it should have been. So I, I, cause I was seeing, I was watching, and I was seeing how like not as many people there and it affects the vendors, I'm sure. More than anything else, I think the vendors are affected by it. So I didn't like that part, but I do like the part about uh, them keeping things under control. But the crackdown has come with a cost. For business, it's quiet. Especially the curfew, you know, uh, out of 11.59, so we had to close at 10 p.m. Did you feel that? Yeah. Turn it over. It's understandable to have imposed restrictions because it needs some regulation, but they overdid it with too many. The midnight curfew in particular has affected late night venues, especially nightclubs, causing financial strains on business owners. A couple of South Beach clubs illegally challenged Miami Beach's recent midnight curfew imposed to control spring break celebrations. Despite their efforts, the judge denied the request. I feel like it's lame. I think the business owner should keep it open more. Further north in Jacksonville Beach, a spate of shootings on Sunday left one man dead and three people injured. So as spring break continues, city officials here remain on high alert, especially as tens of thousands of visitors are expected to attend the highly anticipated Ultra Electronic Music Festival here this weekend. Mitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.